looks so good. And now we have another special surprise for you. One of the stars from the show is here with us this morning. You just saw him there in that promo. We are so honored to welcome Wendell Pierce to the show. Thanks for being on with us this morning. Oh, thanks for having me. It's great to be on. Absolutely. Good morning, Detroit. Good morning. All right, you were just talking about how there's a little something for everyone and something else in that promo that I loved are all the guest appearances. What was it like for you filming filming this season, this series? One of the one of the moments we look forward to in the week is uh, the guest list of uh, stars that are coming on the show. Like they said, you know, Stephen Moyer and uh, Blair Underwood and Lisa Gershon is on, uh, Linda Lavin, Jane Krasowski. And so it's a real... Um, it's a real display of the talent that is coming on to the show. And every week it's like a little mini movie, you know, with cast of thousands starring uh, from this list of all these famous stars. So it's really, it's really fun. It's a really fun show to do. It, you know, Wendell, it seems like every time I turn on a show, you're in it, whether it's The Wire, mm -hmm. Chicago PD, Ray Donovan, uh, you know, Jack Ryan suits. Uh, tell me about the longevity of your career and why you think you've been so successful. Well, um, I'm a classically trained actor. I went to Juilliard. I, I'm not one of those theater snobs. I do theater <laughs> and television and film. Uh, I live in New Orleans, New York, and Los Angeles. So I'm all over the place. And with all of that going on, I, uh, it, it helps It helps get a, a plethora of different jobs, you know. And uh, what, what the real yardstick is, is really doing good material. It's the work you do and the people you do it with. And on Elsbeth, you could not get a better... A, a better gumbo mix. I'm from New Orleans, so I got to bring up the gumbo reference. Uh, you can't get a better mix of really good material and really great talent. And uh, Carrie Preston is a, a true star. She has developed Elsbeth Tassioni, um, and this character is like a Columbo. Uh, and um, I loved that show when I was growing up. So I knew she was going to be on the show, and it's good material from uh, Robert and Michelle uh, King. And so um, it's a great mix. And so we're looking forward to the premiere on Thursday. Yeah, and I love that Columbo reference. That's that's actually a, a great description. And, you know, this is a brand new series. How are the nerves when you're working, like, on a whole new show like that? And what do you think fans are going to love the most about it? Well, I think, um, like I said um, in the package earlier, uh, I think it has a little something for everyone. It's It took me a while before I realized that we had so much humor in the show and comedy because I was so enthralled by the thriller, right? The, it's... it's uh, it's, it's a who done it, but you know from the very start how it happened. It starts with this, you know, intense crime, and uh, you, uh, as the viewer, get to see if we ever figure it out. So there's a thriller aspect to it, you know. Uh, dare I say it was like Al Alfred Hitchcock, you know, like 39 Steps or something, right from the beginning, North by Northwest. And you're seeing as an audience member, are the characters going to be smart enough to figure it out? Because you know right away what happened. So that's the thing that I love about the show. It's great writing. Uh, it's, um, it's drama. It's a thriller. It's a who done it, how done it, you know, how they did it, and, um, and a comedy all in one. So it's a little something for everybody. You know, I see you play a member of the police force in Elsbeth. I mean, you've uh, played a member of the CIA before. You've also played some shady characters in some of your roles. <laughs> do you have a preference? Uh, do you like being the law-abiding citizen, or do you like playing the shadier roles? You know the thing about it is no one ever believes they're uh, no one ever believes they're bad. Yeah. <laughs> right? They always think they're doing good. It's really the thing that's interesting is uh, the human conflict. I'm a student of human behavior. What makes someone do what they do is the most interesting journey that I go on. Um, they never perceive their actions as being bad, even though it has an awful impact on other people. People rationalize some of the worst things, worst behavior. So uh, that's an interesting thing to play as an actor. Um, you know, it's you're a student of human behavior, so it always uh, fascinates me how easily we can rationalize, rationalize real awful behavior. Um, and at the same time, the sacrifices that people will make uh, because they know it's the right thing to do and it's the good thing to do. That's as fascinating to me as well. People will give up so much of themselves, um, uh, their treasure and their lives to help someone else. Uh, that is the common thing, you know, that, that, and that's the most common thing in human nature, that, you know, uh, at the heart of it, we're all good and we'll really do something kind for someone else. It is the, it is the, um, 
it is the outlier where we do the bad things. It is when we're in a, a state of dysfunction where we make decisions to do harm on people. And so that's interesting stuff to play as an actor. Well, good guy or bad guy, we, we, we love it all. And now we know we know we, you're not a theater snob, so we would never <laughs> call you one. Yes. Thank you so much yes, for Yes, I do theater, TV, and film. I try to do one uh, of each every year. I call it the trifecta. And you do it all so well. We appreciate you being here with us this morning. We're going to be watching Thursday night. Thank you so much. Thank you.